I studied philosophy, politics, and economics at Oxford, and then was a Masava Rahami Fellow in Business and Government at Harvard. But I came out of those programs feeling like a fraud. I was graduating into a world where tech was what gave businesses, governments, an edge. And I wanted to be able to contribute to that. I wanted to be able to build stuff and be part of doing that. I had to adapt. I went to learn how to build with code, understand technology under the hood. And the best thing was having come from not being on the tech inside and then understanding it, I found my intersection. If you're new to the channel, I'm Will Sentence, founder of CodeSmith, an independent, pretty small tech school. I'm CEO of the company, but my real passion is teaching. Teaching how to understand complex tech systems. I've had over a million views on my talks in front of masters and how to understand complex societal systems like a job search. I've been doing that for the last 10 years at CodeSmith with an amazing team for nearly 4,000 graduates. What is an intersection? It's joining up two domains, often at the cutting edge, but one day, there'll be the norm. I'm talking biology and engineering, two major disciplines. Biological engineering, once almost unheard of, now potentially bigger than either. Why do it? One, you want to stand out. In a single domain, that's really hard. At the intersection, much easier. Two, you'll get real insight. No BSing on either area, or oh, I'm in biology, but I don't really understand how to build. You draw it up. And three, you're going to get new, exciting breakthroughs and be at the center of them. Move to where the future is. In this video, I'm going to give you the tools to position yourself to do just that. I always wondered why people didn't want to be at that intersection. Actually, some of my friends undergrad at Oxford did. There was the analyst who became a data scientist. There was a product manager who learned to code and became the technical product manager. But a lot didn't. It just became lawyer or investment banker or doctor. Wanna know why? It was too soon. Actually, the key edge in those fields was not technology. So why would they go and build those expertise at the intersection? Apps couldn't advise on law, health or investments. These were nuanced, probab probabilistic questions. But two years ago, everything changed. And now my friends who are lawyers are emerging as AI legal software engineer. My doctor friend is a clinical software lead at the NHS AI division. The AI engineer, the legal engineer, the clinical data scientists, they're all coming fast. As of the Berlin Global Dialogue last week, Macron, OpenAI execs, founder of the $50 billion chip company Arm, and the global head of AI, one of the largest law firms in the world, I'm not gonna name them, but said, we're just not gonna be hiring as many lawyers. And launching a SaaS, so it's like Photoshop, law app. There's cliche to say that software will eat the world, but it's about to take another huge bite. And we're about to get a whole bunch of new intersections between technology or engineering and disciplines like law, politics, medicine. It's going to be full of so many opportunities. How can you be part of it? There's three steps. They're really hard, but they're super fulfilling. First, though, one lie. The answer on how to be part of this is not what the OpenAI VP said at that conference, which was use our tools. It's to own your own destiny by understanding, building with, and wielding these tools. So how do you do it? One, add the deep mindsets. Every discipline has them. Biology and engineering, they're different mindsets. Combined, at the intersection, you need both. In engineering, it's experience getting blocks hundreds of times, trying to figure out how to solve a technical problem. That's the biggest shift that most people never do when they go and dabble in tech. Engineering is about that. That must be a shift for you. If you're in engineering and you want to add data scientists, data science, you've got to add the experiment to the scientist mindset. Find those mindsets and develop them and go deep too. Go under the hood of whatever these disciplines are. If it's engineering, if it's medicine. Build out the mental models of how stuff really works. Legal engineering, to be a real deal, it's not law with a bit of tech. It's actually getting both and how they both really work. In programming, it's software engineering. It's not about which tool you use, Ruby or Rails versus JavaScript or Python. It's not about hugging faces APIs or open AI's APIs. It's about the principles of probability, sampling, stats, optimization. In law, it's whatever the principles of law are, close textual analysis. And three, find a community of people at that intersection or start one. You will never get through the hundreds of blocks that you will need to overcome in two disciplines. 
if you don't have people alongside to build with. It give you a map and then the insider discourse as well. You want to be able to talk the way that people do within that space. You don't actually know everything. You'll figure it out. But you need the cultural vibes on stuff like, oh, I spend my time developing pre-processing data pipelines more than anything else is a classic kind of ML space thing to say. And then you get to explain to each other and the social pressure to do that well is profoundly valuable and it helps you overcome the fear. You're going to be one of the first legal software engineers. You're going to be one of the first clinical AI specialists. Find your community to give you the confidence. And everything I've said here is timeless. Could have been said about the astronomer when rocket propulsion opened the horizons of satellites for astronomical engineering. And yet those people did change the world. And we're about to get a whole new set of people changing the world. My point of this video is if you can find your intersection for this new era, it might just be you.